Hello and welcome to this quick and fast Shopify setup tutorial. Now I have already uploaded a video tutorial on how to set up your Shopify store. It goes for about an hour and is a more in-depth training that goes through all the ins and outs of setting up your Shopify store. But in this video, I wanted to demonstrate how quick and easy it can be to set up your own Shopify store. So there's no more excuses to hold you back from getting started today. Okay, so I would highly recommend you following along with your own Shopify store so you can set it up just like I have here today. So if you haven't yet signed up with Shopify, you can actually get a free trial with Shopify that will give you full access so that you can create your website along with me. You don't even need to add your credit card details, just your email address and away you go. I'll leave a link to the free trial in the description box below, so make sure you do that now. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and it will take you to the sign up screen here where you can get your free Shopify account set up. So what you want to do is just enter in your email address here and then click start free trial. Next you want to enter in a password and here you want to enter your store name. So for this example, I'm going to start an online store that sells pool inflatables. So I'm going to name the store Pink Flamingo Pool Floats. And then click create your store. So Shopify will then ask you a few questions to get your account set up. So just follow the prompts here and answer the questions. Um, these aren't too important for now. Next, you want to add some personal details. So I'll go ahead and fill this out now and I'll catch up with you once it's all filled in. Okay, so once we're all signed up, you'll be redirected to your Shopify dashboard. This is where you'll arrive every time you log into your Shopify account. So I'll just run through the dashboard with you now so you have a better understanding of all the functionalities within your Shopify dashboard and how to navigate it. So to the left here, we have our main navigation menu. This is where you'll access all the moving parts of your Shopify store. So home is the current tab we are on now. This is where you'll get important notifications from Shopify and see all the relevant up-to-date information about your store. When you have a minute or two, I would suggest going through your Shopify dashboard to get yourself familiar and used to the way it's all set up. Below that, we have the orders tab. This is where you'll manage all your orders. Here, you can monitor, process, and track all of the orders that are coming in and out of your online store. Next, we have the products tab. This is where you'll manage all the products that you offer in your online store. Here, you can edit details, add or delete products, and make changes to the products in your store. Below that, we have the customers tab. Here is where you can access information all about your customers that have purchased from your store. This is a great way to find out more about the type of customers that purchase from your stores, which is vital information to then work on getting more people just like them to visit your store. Next, one of the more important areas of your dashboard is the analytics tab. This is where you'll find all the analytics and data that are collected from your online store that can help you uncover important information. I would highly recommend coming back to this tab and getting yourself really familiar with it as this is information that can help you make improvements to your online store and help to better serve your customers. In fact, I would suggest checking into your analytics at least once a week to see how your online store is tracking. Just below analytics, we've got the marketing tab. This is a service provided by Shopify to help you with your online store's marketing. For now, I wouldn't worry too much about this. Next, we have the discounts tab. This is where you can set up manual and automatic discounts for your online store. So for example, you could use discounts to help entice customers to purchase from your store or to reward loyal customers. And lastly, we have the apps tab. Here is where you can add apps and additional functionalities to your Shopify store to help with a whole range of different things. There are hundreds and hundreds of different apps that you can use for your online store. Some are free and some are paid that can up-level the functionality and increase sales for your online store. When you've got some free time, I would recommend heading over to the App Store and checking out all the different apps that are available to you as a Shopify user. Okay, now we've got the Sales Channels tab. If you click here on Online Store, it will open up a new set of menus. The first here is Themes. This is where you'll select, upload and edit your theme. Then we have Blog Posts. 
This is where you can access your blog posts and add a blog to your online store. Then we have pages. Here you can add, edit and delete the pages for your online store. Navigation is where you can make changes to your main and footer menus for your online store. Below that we've got domains. This is where you can purchase or add your own domain to your Shopify store. When you first sign up with Shopify, you will be given a Shopify domain. So for example, we've got pinkflamingopoolfloats.myshopify.com. In order to have a professional online store that customers will trust to purchase from, you'll want to consider creating a custom domain for your online store. The great thing about Shopify is that it, they make it super easy to get your custom domain. Just follow their prompts to get started by clicking here where it says buy new domain. Below that, we've got preferences. This is where you'll edit your store's preferences, like adding a Google Analytics code or a Facebook pixel code. Lastly, we've got the settings tab. Here you can edit all your store settings. Think things like shipping settings, taxes, your currency, update your billing information, add legal pages, and so much more. After you've set up your online store, I would suggest coming back here to upload the important details for your online store. Okay, so let's get this tutorial off and running by adding a new product. So let's click on products here, then click add products. Here we want to add our product title. And just below that, you wanna add the description for your product. I'll go ahead and add some dummy text in now. Below that is where you want to add your images. So to do so, you just click add images here. Just below that is where we can edit our pricing information. And if you want to charge tax on this product, just keep this checked. Below is our inventory information. So if you've got a SKU, a barcode for your products, whether you want to track the quantity, I'll just leave it all as is for now and we'll just add a hundred here to the available quantity. For the shipping details, let's just leave it as is. And we don't have any variants for this product. So I think that's all good to go. Let's just click the save button here. So it's as easy as that to get your first product set up, ready to go. You can check out how it looks by clicking the preview button here. And here we have our first product. So we've got our image, our title, the price, the add to cart button, the description. Very good, okay, let's head back now. Okay, so now that we have our first product added, let's create a discount code for our online store. So here in this left navigation, let's just click on discounts and create discount code. Let's name this discount code free ship 50. So as this will be a code for free shipping of $50, we want to change the type to free shipping. And just scroll down, we're gonna have it for all countries. And the minimum requirement here, we want minimum purchase amount of $50. Scroll down, so everyone is eligible for this. You can limit the number of times this discount can be used. I'll just leave it as is for now. And you can also change the active dates. I'll again just leave this. Scroll to the top here and let's click save. Okay, so there we go. Our discount code is easily set up, ready to go. Now that we have added our product, created a discount code, let's work on the fun part of editing the visual elements of our online store. So let's go back to this dashboard here, this dashboard menu, and let's click on online store and then themes. Currently, your online store is set to the debut theme, which is a free Shopify theme. But for this example, I want to change it to a free theme that Shopify has called the Brooklyn theme. So to do this, let's just scroll down where it says free themes. Let's go to explore free themes. Let's find the Brooklyn theme, which is towards the bottom here. Let's click on that. Then go add to theme library. Okay, so now it's just adding the Brooklyn theme to our library. And if we scroll down, we can just see here, it's just loading. Okay, so once that's all loaded, what we wanna do is we want to add this theme to our online store. So to do that, let's just go to here where it says actions and this little drop down arrow, just click on that. And then we want to go to publish. It'll just check to make sure that you want to upload Brooklyn as your theme. So again, just hit publish. 
and let's scroll up. So now our current theme is the Brooklyn theme. Okay, so let's start editing our theme by clicking here where it says customize. And what will open up is your design window. This is where you can make all the edits and change the look and feel of your online store. So for today's example, we're gonna keep it clean and simple. So let's start off by reducing the number of sections that are on your home page for your online store. So as we can see here, we've got header, slideshow, rich text, collection lists, featured section, featured collections, newsletter. So here that's all the, those things that are listed here on the side is what you're gonna see on your home page. So there we've got the collection list, we've got the featured collection, and we've got our newsletter. So to do this, you can either delete or hide your sections, but for now, I'm just gonna hide them. So I'm gonna hide rich text. I'm going to hide collection list. I'm gonna hide featured collections. So now all we've got on our homepage is our header, our slideshow, and then our newsletter. Okay, so I do want to add a featured product to our um, sections here. So let's do that by here, clicking on add section. And here where it says product, I want a featured product. So let's click on that and then click add. Now, in order to upload that product that we added previously, to do this, you wanna click on select products here. And then we want to select that large flamingo pool inflatable. Then click select. And there we have it. Our featured product is now uploaded onto our homepage. Let's go back. So if we scroll up, we've got our hero banner here, we've got our newsletter and our featured product. But I do want this featured product just above this newsletter. So you do this by just dragging it up like so, easy. Okay, so let's go back and start making some more customization. Next, we want to edit the announcement bar here at the top. So where it says announce something here, we want to change that. So you do this by scrolling up to the top where it says header, just click header here, scroll down until you find the announcement bar settings. So here you can actually remove the announcement bar easily just by unticking the announcement bar. But we wanna leave this on and we want to announce something here. So we wanna change this text, delete. So I want to add the free shipping over $50 notification. So I'm just gonna add that now. There we go, so we've got free shipping over $50, enter code FREESHIP50 at checkout. So now when people are on my online store and they enter that code at their checkout, they'll get free shipping over $50 spent. Okay, now let's edit this slideshow banner. We can do this by clicking back here and click slideshow. I want to add a couple of images here to this slideshow. So to do that, let's click on here where it says slide. And here we can select our own images or we can explore free images that are provided by Shopify for free. I'm going to find some free images that are in line with the products that I'm selling. Next, I wanna change the text that's overlaid here. So let's scroll down. So here where it says heading hero banner, let's change that to fun in the sun. And here the subheading, I'm gonna change that to let's have. So it reads, let's have fun in the sun. Next, you can create a button. So um, you can have a button that says shop now. And then the button link, I want to link it to my products. So I can go products here and large flamingo pool inflatable. So when somebody clicks on that link, it'll take them directly to my product page. Okay, let's go ahead and change the next one. I'll do this quickly for you now. Okay, next I wanna edit this newsletter because at the moment we've just got some dummy text in here. Let's edit it so it's all customized. So just click on newsletter. Then here where it says heading, let's change that. Okay, let's go back. And to make sure that everything's saved, let's click the save button up here. All right, now let's check out how it's all looking. So all you wanna do is just click on this button right here 
to open it up so it's just a little bit easier to see. Okay, so as you can see, in a matter of minutes, our online store is starting to come together. So we have our logo here on the top. This can easily be changed to your own custom logo just by uploading it in the back end. We have our menu here. So we've got our home and our catalog, which is our products. Then we have our slideshow banner here with a clickable shop now button. We have our featured product that we added earlier. So we've got the title, the price, and the add to cart button, the image of the product. And if we go down here, we have our subscribe opt-in and our footer just below that. Okay, so there we have it. Our online store is up and running in under 10 minutes. If you're looking for a more in-depth tutorial to get started with your Shopify store, I would definitely recommend checking out my full tutorial. It goes through a more in-depth Shopify tutorial that will get you up and running with your online store in just under an hour. I'll leave a link to the tutorial in the comments below and here on the screen. 